Let's get you on the hottest fashion picks right now. This time, Prada's Velvet Cahier bag is taking all the color. Made in velvet and dripping with glam, the bags have a colorful ambiance and a chic feel that is sure to make any outfit pop. As always, Prada gives a cool boom with different color offerings and a going rate of $2,680. All that's left to see is if this bag will become a street style fave. Check out the trending makeovers to spice up your looks. Let the pros take you on one fashion-tastic spin. It's a quick take of elegant simplicity and dazzling fashion glam. All eyes on it, we spot on it. Check out the latest fashion roundup as they hit the web. For more trending details on fashion do's and don'ts and the most fantastic pieces, watch Spice TV's Fashion 360. Okay guys, get this scoop. Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner are engaged. And the thing is that we did not even know they were dating in the first place. It seems like these Game of Thrones ca characters can keep their relationship under wraps. I mean, see what happened with Jon Snow and his fiance. They recently got engaged and we did not know much about their situation. And now Joe Jonas, who is 28, and Sophie Turner, 21, got engaged recently. And they took it to Instagram and, you know, they both posted pictures of her finger with the ring. And she said on her caption, I said yes. And he said, she said yes. And I'm very happy with them because I didn't know about it, did you? Me, my eyes, I was so yeah, that, that's that's a problem. I mean, I was so shocked. And plus, they, they seem like such an unlikely pair, like Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner. Like, I get it, but like, yeah. it was just like, really? Yeah, in case you didn't know, uh, um, Sophie Turner plays Sansa Stark on the hit TV show Game of Thrones, and you know, she plays a particular character there. And thinking about Joe Jonas, he's one of like, like everybody's sweetheart type of person. And thinking about her character on Game of Thrones, I don't know her in real life, of course, so I can't judge what she's like. But if you're gonna go with her character on TV, you say she doesn't go with Joe Jonas, of course. Yeah. But in real life, probably they see something in each other and I like the fact that they kept it under wraps because these days, I mean, celebrity relationships, marriages or whatever, they crash before they even start because of the social media pressure, everything that is going on online. So what do you think about this maybe seemingly mismatched people? I don't know, I think they're really cute and her rock was, whoa. Girl, yeah. you definitely say yes to that kind of work. I think they're really cute and I wish them, definitely I wish them all the best because I love Sansa Stark on Game of Thrones and it has made me love her as a person. Okay. So I'm a huge fan, definitely. And I'm, I'm really hoping that they have a happy marriage. Yeah, I, I hope so too, She's you know. She's young, Cher. Yeah, she got that Game of Thrones money. Joe Jonas got that Jonas Brothers money. So I think they'll do very well. And hopefully it lasts and not be like the typical Hollywood marriage. She's quite young, Cher. Okay. Pop star Rihanna has been on autopilot this year. With Fenty and Puma collections, Fenty Beauty launching in 1,600 stores across 17 countries and collaboration with Monono Blahnik, Stunt and Christian Dior. She's definitely building a fashion empire. At the Vogue's Forces of Fashion conference, hosted by Hamish Bowles, editor-at-large for US Vogue, Rihanna talks about being a businesswoman, from how she finds the best new designs and why Fenty Beauty's global launch changed the beauty game. On Fenty Beauty's impactful launch, she said, I wanted it to be something that girls love, for it to be respected by professionals and I wanted it to be something that felt like me. Let's get you on the hottest fashion picks right now. This time, Prada's Velvet Cahier bag is taking all the color. 
made in velvet and dripping with glam, the bags have a colorful ambiance and a chic feel that is sure to make any outfit pop. As always, Prada gives a cool boom with different color offerings and a going rate of $2,680. All that's left to see is if this bag will become a street style fave. Sleek on the waves, sleek on the moves. The water boy is definitely living it up. You know, a lot of people know you for your style. Mm. What would you say inspires you? Who are your favorite brands? Style-wise, I just like being very original, mm. very organic. Um, I like prints, I like uh, vintage. Mm. I love trad. Traditional mm. attire is my favorite, most comfortable mm. stuff to wear. Tenny of DRB is clearing up a lot of air and we are talking everything. To be honest with that, like I think at the end of the day, what people didn't know about DRB is that uh, we were a group, mm. but we were all solo artists. So yeah. before we even dropped any DRB singles, we dropped our solo singles in, mm. like individually. Yeah. So we were just lucky enough that mm. our first big song happened mm. to be a group song, which yeah, was Tony, same. as you know. So um, the honest truth is we're always solo artists. So yeah. at some point, we were always going to go on to do our own projects and our own ventures. And we all had different interests at the same time. Get the lowdown of the life and moments of Africa's young executive this Friday only on Fashion 360. There was a time where ponytails were your easy go-to hairstyle. You're basically about to run an errand or it's just a day where you actually did made zero efforts and you just threw your hair in a ponytail. But ponytails have now become so trendy that our favorite celebrities are rocking them in so many different new ways. Now, we can't talk about ponytails without talking about Kim Kardashian West. And Kim Kardashian actually jazzed her ponytail a bit while wearing a scrunchie. Now, scrunchies are so 90s, but her and Hailey Baldwin feel, seem like they can bring that back in 2017. Well, how long has it been for you, though? Since talking about the ponytail. Wait, ponytail? Yeah. A couple been, years, maybe? No, no, it hasn't been two years yet. I cut my hair in June of last year, so it's just been a few, a year and some months. But it's been a while since I rocked a ponytail. Sometimes, low key, I wear most wigs and I like flip my hair because I really do miss flipping my hair. But like, no, it's, it's, I'm okay. I'm okay with my okay, short great, hair. Okay, great, great. Next up, we have Sophia Bush, and Sophia Bush rocks this amazing slick ponytail to the premiere of No Hormones, Please. She looks absolutely stunning as usual. No Hormones, Please. Yes, okay. No Hormones, Please. Apparently, I wonder, I wonder what that movie is. Yeah, I probably so have to check it out. Yeah, we have to. <laughs> yeah. And then next up, we also have Sophie Turner. Sophie Vitana rocks this sleek, wet ponytail look for the Chanel Autumn Winter Spring Collection. And I feel like she looks really amazing because like, you know they started doing this wet look. Do you like the wet look hair? Have you seen wet look hair? Yeah, I think it's, what, what was that, an extra sheen or something? No, it's literally, it's actually wet. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It's actually wet. Okay. Do you like, because you know, they, they did the pictures of when the cover of um, Hollywood Reporter, Kim had her hair slicked back wet and mm -hmm. I think she looked really hot. But then... It's Kim. Definitely. Yeah, so I'll, I'll say she, I'm biased. No, even though you're not biased. Okay, I mean, but Kim, she always looks yeah, always Okay, looks fair good. enough. So, but like, I just feel like I see like the wet look. I really like it. I don't know about the wet ponytail though. Like, I love the whole wet, slick back hair. I love it, especially when it works perfectly. It's absolutely gorgeous. But I don't know about the wet. Ponytail. Yeah, but how how do you how do you keep the water in place? I mean, is it, is so it about they, a drip or? No, you don't. You don't. You don't like. It's not like as if you're washing your hair. It's basically like running water through your hair. So like it would drip a little bit, but like okay, it stays in. Yeah, it stays. It stays so, in. And it's, I think it's supposed to put like a spritz and uh, some other moisture products so that yeah, it actually so maintains it clean, that. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I don't. I can't know these things. Obviously. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I just feel like as if a wet ponytail is kind of an for me, but she looks really good in the wet ponytail. I think so as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nigerian rapper YC is totally eye candy in the new campaign photos for his hit banger titled Kumoji by Tiny Mafia. The Jagaban crooner shows a daring and fashionable side which we don't get to see often, bearing his rock hard abs in a camo jacket and rugged jeans in the first set of photos. YC sure gives the ladies something to sweat over as he poses playfully in a crisp white ensemble. During the shoot which took place in the middle of his 2017 tour in New York, the rapper said about his look, I basically told them to make me appear as hot as I 
Maya. YT has also hinted that he's working on some fashion collaborations which will be released soon. is the boohoo fashionista. Tonya Garrick braids it with a difference. Our poster girl for the short crop finally takes a turn for a life of long hours of braid life. And no, this doesn't come with a headache. Tonya Garrick chic tracks are packed full with love. And what's not to love? This bold earring moment on flowing locks might be the start of a new movement for Nigerian fashionistas. The longest part of me getting ready are these two things, my hair and my face. On the style radar, Tonya is definitely the screen diva without the body con slaying for Africa with her step out game. Yes, baby girl, for this and every stylish moment scored, we see you. And last but not least, on today's episode of Fashion 360, I think these two are like one of the cutest couples around. Talking about Iceberg Slim and Juliet Ibrahim. And Iceberg granted an interview recently and he talked about so many things, including what attracted him to Juliet Ibrahim. And he said something about intelligence. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. I wasn't uh, in the studio when he said that. Uh, no, he no, he didn't come to the studio. I mean, he granted an answer. No, I, like, I wasn't in the studio when Essie just said that. Oh, me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, girl, you're old. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I like Julia Zubrahim. I think I think she has intelligence, but well, I think she, you has, think she other, has intelligence. other features as well. Wow, yeah. wow, yeah. wow. <laughs> Very attractive features. We're talking about Iceberg and Juliet Ibrahim. Iceberg said that he talks about so many things, including growing up in America and coming back to start his music career. Now, he said on the topic of growing up in America that growing up in America is not a bed of roses and people do not see it that way because it is not usually as easy as it seems. And talking about why he came back to the country to start his music career, he said he didn't want to see or did not want to seem like a typical black man just doing that, that he wanted to represent something bigger and wanted to be like a Nigerian musician and not just another black musician. So, and last but not least, he talked about Juliet Ibrahim, of course, and said uh, when he first met her, what first attracted him to her was her peculiar choice in music. And after he talked to her and had a conversation, and uh, he was like, whoa, this, she's really smart, amongst other things. And he said he cannot quantify his love for Juliet Ibrahim at the moment because they're having such a swell time and it is, you know, just a whirlwind romance for him and he's having a good time. But talking about them, you know, usually before Iceberg, Juliet doesn't usually have relationship she puts on the gram and she's not she, with iceberg she's been very very adventurous so to speak i mean they're taking pictures in the elevator and he's grabbing her behind you know stuff and they're taking pictures together wearing matching ankara material and other sort of things so do you think like uh, this is you think it's because maybe juliet is trying to step out of her comfort zone and be more adventurous by relationships or do you think like i don't know they're doing it for the crime i don't know i think relationships are very interesting and that's it's kind of like how at the beginning of your relationship it can be so amazing and then towards the end you can't actually stand the person that you're with. So I feel like as if, to be honest, if they're actually faking their relationship, they're, they've actually put in so much effort into faking it that it might actually be genuine. Yeah. I don't know if they are, but I'm saying like if they are, they've, they've kind of like faked it into making it, like fake it to you, make it. Yeah, like it's literally, it now seems like they're so cute and they're so much in love. And I actually hope, I actually hope that it's a genuine relationship because if you're in a genuine relationship where you're happy, there are limits to what you wouldn't do in your relationship. Yeah. And there's certain things that you actually wouldn't care about. Like, I feel like as if the whole world reacted to that picture of the elevator. Mm -hmm. Me too, I reacted to that picture. I'm not even going to lie. Low key. I did, but I just feel like I see sometimes when you're so happy and in love, it's like... Mm. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I know Julia personally, and I'm thinking like she's such a chill person. I don't yeah. think she would probably put in, put in effort into it's, it's just so much as effort, if you yeah. if you've met her personally, you know that she's like oh, she's just she's so calm. on chill yeah. totally. And I don't think she would be like oh, if it's not working for her, she doesn't seem like she's going to stick it out for you know just for the yeah, gram exactly. or have anything. And also. another thing, like uh, some people, I was talking to some people about the whole Julia Ibrahim and Iceberg. People were angry. Not I don't know if angry is the word, but people were not really happy about the Juliet and Iceberg 
relationship saying that oh iceberg is not up to Juliet's standard I don't know how people measure standards so yeah I'm not sure but I totally disagree because so far I think this is the happiest I have seen Juliet. exactly I feel like as if a person doesn't measure up to your standard if the person treats you bad if the person abuses you if you're in it, I'll only tell I'll only tell the person that this person is not on your level if you always somehow find yourself like find the person constantly shortcoming things that you naturally be able to do okay. I wouldn't say oh because she's a more accomplished actress than he's not on her level because she chose him for a reason mm -hmm. I'm sure that there are princes there are people that have hit up Jenna Ibrahim that she didn't answer and she answered as extreme so I feel like as if that's kind of a bitter angle saying she's not yeah. on the same level yeah because really and truly it doesn't have anything to do with that if he obviously has something to do with that then she wouldn't be with him so well I mean the all and sundry of this matter is that Iceberg Slim you sure are a lucky guy in my opinion and I think it's uh, kind of like is lucky too, if obviously. you start dating Linda Cage you know nobody now say you are Linda Cage you are not so. I mean she'll be lucky yeah right exactly so I mean, so. exactly yeah. that's how it should be Spice to be my name is Annie McCauley Divya and yes we are at the launching of Luxury by Faye. This this clothing line is awesome, like that's what I'm wearing guys. Meow. It's Luxury by Faye. That's why we're here. It's the launching of this beautiful, brilliant idea from Faye. I'm here at the Oriental at the launch of Luxury by Faye. Faye uh, designed this is uh, lux uh, launching her diffusion line. I'm here for the launch of Faye by LBM at the Oriental um, Hotel in Lagos. Um, and I can't wait for the collection to see what she has stocked for us. Make sure you tune in and watch the rest of the show. Although we're still agreeing with Envy over Idris Alba's new girlfriend Sabrina Dohor, we can't help but admire how adorable they look together. The yummy couple hit the red carpet at the International Day of the Girl charity, sponsored by Ciroc Vodka on Wednesday. 45-year-old Idris looked dashing as usual, posing with his 25-year-old actress and model girlfriend, who wore a navy pinstripe shirt dress paired with slouchy black boots. Alright guys, that's it for today's episode of Fashion 360. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to find out more gist, please visit our website at www.myspice.tv or our social media handle which is Spice TV Africa across all platforms. Now if you want to keep up with the presenters, ESO is the official ESO across all platforms including YouTube and SoundCloud. I'm Valerie.ek on Instagram and Felicante on Snapchat. Until next time, this has been Spice TV's premiere show Fashion 360 and we'll definitely see you tomorrow.